So do you think your filtration process can be more efficient and cost effective? Well, a customized wire mesh filter could be your solution. Stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name is Andrew Kotlar and woven wire mesh is arguably one of the most versatile materials in the world. It can be formed to accommodate almost any filtration or design application. But since no one operation is the same, buying customized wire mesh screens and filters is the best in most cases. But it's important that you know what to expect when you're building a customized wire mesh part. And having gained over 150 years of woven wire mesh experience, WS Tyler is here to ensure you put the ideal solution for your process in place. That said, we'll help you better understand what the customized mesh buying process looks like, some important quoting information, and what is needed to build the best possible solution. So when you're trying to assemble the perfect custom mesh screen or filter, there's several specifications that must be methodically determined. Uh, layer configuration, size and shape, uh, and mesh count are probably the hardest to determine. There's a lot of reasons why a multi-layer configuration would be best for your operation, but the biggest factor would be the need for strength and durability. So let's say you're filtering a substance or screening a material that has different particle sizes. If you used a single layer of fine mesh, odds are it wouldn't hold up. The larger particles would compromise the integrity of the mesh in a short period of time. So to combat this, you take the fine mesh needed to deliver the filtering capabilities and sandwich it in between layers of stronger, coarser mesh, which prevents the larger particles from damaging the finer filter layer. But that said, if you're filtering non-abrasive material or wanting to make a filter cake, a single layer configuration would be better for you. When working with woven wire mesh in particular, the, the sky's the limit when it comes to the ways it can be formed to accommodate your operation. But there's a few aspects to the forming process that simply can't be done. So for example, when you're forming deep drawn funnel screens for low pressure die casting, there's a ratio based on the screen's diameter that limits the depth of the screen that can be drawn. This ratio essentially limits the depth measurement from exceeding the measurement of the diameter of the screen. So putting this into perspective, if you need a screen that's one inch in diameter, it would be impossible to draw the part out to a measurement of five inches. It all comes down to the size of your particles. If you're screening large pieces of aggregate, you'll want to use larger mesh openings, which will also make the screen more durable. On the other hand, if you're filtering out sand from raw oil, you'll need a finer mesh count since the particles can prove to be pretty small. But with that, the mesh count of the screen may be limited based on the type of woven wire cloth. Uh, square mesh has a mesh count range of four mesh down to 230 mesh, uh, whereas filter cloth has a mesh count range of four microns to 302 microns. When trying to identify the wire mesh needs of a customer, there's a, a good, better, best scale that's used. And there's three primary mesh elements that will tell you how effective the mesh supplier is at helping you establish your mesh solution. Wire diameter refers to the width of the wires in the mesh. Opening size refers to the space in between the wires of the mesh. And mesh count refers to the number of wires in the mesh. If you provide one of these elements, you're representing the good category of the scale. If two elements are provided, that would be better. And naturally, if you have all three, that's the best. Let's say the mesh supplier receives an email like, Sam, can I get a pricing on 200 feet of 50 micron cloth? Since the email only has the opening size, a recommendation can be given, however, the exact needs of the inquirer are still unknown. Now, if the email included the following information like uh, 60 by 60 mesh with 0 0.0075 inches of wire, the supplier would be able to tell the exact mesh count as well as the wire diameter. With these two elements, the opening size can actually be determined, and really any two elements can help determine what the third will be. But of course, providing all three elements will yield the best results. Regardless of the needs of your wire mesh part, the buying process starts with reaching out to the mesh supplier with an overview of the mesh to see if it can be produced. Typically, you'll be asked to submit some sort of drawing or blueprint with the mesh specifications so an engineer can review them. If neither a blueprint or drawing is available, our team of experts can work with you to determine which specifications will work best for your needs. Once the engineer confirms that the desired mesh specifications can be produced, you'll receive a quote reflecting the cost of the materials needed to produce the mesh. But with that, it's important that you know the different elements of your desired mesh specification, like uh, the mesh count, the alloy of the mesh, any sort of heat treatment needed, and any value-added services needed. Once you receive the quote, the final step would be to accept it and submit it as a purchase order. Taking all this into consideration, the biggest obstacle you'll face during the buying process is if the mesh can be produced. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.